I like Hallmark. I like baseball. The perfect catch seemed like one that I was going to enjoy. And I did. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. It had the potential to become one of my favourite Hallmark films, but I found the narrative to be quite stale. Not a lot happened, but I still enjoyed the performances, I enjoyed the progression of the characters and their emotional journey, and I also thought the character of Wesley was amazing, and I'll talk about him in a moment. We also have two of my favourite Hallmark actors as our romantic leads, Nikita Loach and Andrew W. Walker as Jessica and Chase Tainer respectively. Jessica is a single parent raising Wesley. Wesley is played by Chance Hurstfield and he is adorable. I love his enthusiasm. I found his his performance to be really realistic. He gets frustrated a lot as a young child and I just feel like the character was very realistically written because quite often Hallmark characters are written to be these little angels and actually Wesley had a bit of spice to him. He had a little bit of sass and I thought he was very, very believable, very convincing. The film's directed by Stephen R. Monroe, who's also one of my favourite Hallmark directors. And in this film, Jessica owns a diner. It's not in the best of health financially, and she's also a single parent trying to raise Wesley. One day, her former high school boyfriend returns to town, and that just happens to be Chase Tainer, a professional baseball pa- ba- baseball player. It also just so happens that her son Wesley is not very good at baseball but really enjoys it and is very keen for Chase to teach him how to play baseball. And throughout the film we have Chase bonding with Wesley. Of course that means Jessica is going to be spending quite a bit of time with her high school sweetheart and old sparks are going to be reignited. This is a hallmark film. Will they realise they're meant to be together and that their destiny was formed in high school? Or will Chase go off at the end of the film and take on his next professional baseball career move? I won't say what happens, but I will just say it's a Hallmark film. It's not It's not designed to leave you feeling annoyed by a character's decisions. What did annoy me, though, was initially the character of Chase. And Andrew W. Walker always plays these really likeable protagonists. But there was something about Chase to begin with that just bothered me. He wasn't likeable. But he wasn't antagonistic. He just felt kind of flat and not very interesting. But over time that did change. Jessica as a character I actually took to quite quickly. I thought she was brilliant. And as I said, Wesley, I loved straight away. I thought he was very well written, very convincing and very believable. If you don't like baseball, you may not like it. If you're indifferent to baseball, fine. But I I kind of think, let's say this had been a film about basketball, because I don't care for basketball. I definitely wouldn't have liked it as much as I did. But if you like Hallmark films, and you either don't mind or like the baseball element, then it's definitely one I'm happy to recommend. It's pretty stereotypical. You can expect the expected in a really warm and fuzzy way, where you know you're going to be comforted, at least at some point, by this. Once it got going, the characters were likeable. The only flaw, as I said, is that it's very repetitive. Not a lot happens with the narrative. It goes from A to B pretty seamlessly. There are no hiccups. And it's basically just Wesley being taught to play basketball and Jessica wondering if Chase is going to just abandon her and her son at some point. And that's kind of all that really happens. But that aside, the perfect catch may not be perfect, but it's still worth watching. 